So we are here at the Jack Daniels Distillery Tour. We're about to walk over there. You guys are coming with us. I'm excited. Let's, Let's go. go. So we're here at uh, Jack Daniels. Lynchburg Welcome Center. And we got the uh, Tennessee Whiskey Trail Trailhead. And now we're gonna walk it over to the uh, distillery. All right, so we're here at the uh, Jack Daniels Distillery. We're waiting for our uh, tour guide. We're here very early, I guess. So we still got like 30 minutes to go, but just checking everything here, that's pretty cool. So I don't know why this county is dry. So it's a dry county, but that is pretty cool that they uh, tell you the history of it. This is pretty cool here. So this is like all the history of like Jack Daniels. This is awesome. Back in business. The world comes to Lynchburg. So we have two tasting tours. They leave at different times, but you see the same sites. See some of the uh, Jack Daniels bottles there. Posterity Register. Huh. It is pretty cool. So here's uh, Mr. Uh, Jack Daniels right here. So pretty freaking cool. Now, stupidly, I forgot my phone, but uh, I am part of this, uh, I do have this um, Whiskey Trail Passport, because I went to uh, Old Dominic in uh, Memphis, but, um, I don't have my phone with me to actually uh, to actually keep filling it out, so that sucks. Here we got some other uh, Jack Daniels stuff. This is part of their bonded tour, I believe. So we're doing the Angels Share tour. And here you see the bonded ride, the bonded, and then the uh, triple mash.
So here's the display for uh, Nearest Green from uh, Uncle Nearest. I'm glad that they're actually like paying homage to him. So that's pretty cool. That's cool. All right, now we're gonna go to our uh, White Rabbit bottle shop. This is probably where uh, Dave is at. <laughs> Some of these bottles. Mostly all 127 proofs on these, and the bigger ones are 131.7. Not bad. Thought we would get lucky and maybe uh, and maybe score some uh, 10 year and uh, 12 year, or even a Koi Hill. That would be great. These are lower proof. Oh no, 130. 130 but they're a little bit more than what I can find in my area. I usually see it for like one I mean 65 bucks All right, so here we got the distillery series So this is in finished in Añejo tequila barrels Which isn't bad 50 bucks Got the bonded rye. Fifty bucks. There's the uh, Oloroso sherry one. Some gentleman Jack. And then the uh, regular number seven, some of their flavored things. At this key for destruction, it's going to burn typically for about an hour to an hour and a half. But y'all notice the way in which the wood is stacked? Stacked kind of leaning in on each other. Another crucial detail to crafting charcoal. Because by stacking it in that manner, as that wood starts to burn, it will collapse in on it. It, in a way, puts its own self out because it cuts off its oxygen source. that it's not an accurate life-size model of Mr. Jack. See, in reality, Jack's been around five foot two inches tall, yet the statue here stands a little over five foot eight inches tall, closer to around five foot nine. So we like to say that the man that crafted him, he must have had his large personality in mind when he decided to add a few extra inches to Mr. Jack. The only thing accurate about him here would be the size of his boot. Our recipe is 80% corn, 12% barley, 8% rye. In the expression above it, every day we make it, we'll make it the best we can. That was Mr. Jack's life model. And it's one that we still live by today. And we take multiple meanings from it, but what we take from it 
especially in connection to our grains, is that we'll go as far as we need to achieve the best quality ingredients to make the whiskey the best we can. Quality is so important to the brand here. And we're going to talk more about those grains before we move into production. So we finished the uh, Jack Daniels tour. Awesome, awesome tour. There's Dave. Um, it was a great tour, guys. Um, definitely recommend it. They teach you a lot. And then if you do the Angels Share tour, you get to taste uh, a lot of their uh, single barrels. So that's always good, right? So uh, definitely recommend this. Definitely come with some money because you might want to buy some stuff af afterwards, especially at the barrel shop. But do recommend it and uh, Come down, get your little stamp for uh, the Tennessee Whiskey Trail. Till next time, subscribe. Check out the uh, the Patreon description. You guys all know. Comment below. Have you guys been to this distillery yet? Any distillery? How do you think it compares? Either way, we're gonna be out of here, and I want you to enjoy that whiskey. Cheers.